<laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Here's this example written in a different kind of way. Right? We are working with register 8. 8 has even number, right? Hopefully this will make sense. And then we're also working with register 9. Register 9 has maximum number, which is 10, right? This will always be 10. In fact, we just say this is 10. 9 will always be 10. What else do we have? We have in register 10, we have uh, sum. When we are looping, what we are doing is we are doing, uh, we are processing these things here. The first time we loop, because our initial condition is zero, the first time we loop, if you look at uh, our code here, we are saying, uh, and I think we should write it somewhere here so that we see this BGT. Uh, I don't know if this is going to make sense here. Do we have all the different elements we're working with? Yep, we do, right? <sighs> I'm trying to see, maybe we, maybe we should include all the different instructions. Maybe that will make sense. Probably not. The first time we're executing this loop, we have the value zero. When we, we, the the, when we, we're executing this uh, sequence of instructions, the first, time, the first thing we do is we check if the value in register eight uh, is zero, right? If the value in register eight is greater than, what is in 10, what, what, what is in nine? What is in nine is 10. BGT zero comma nine, true or false? What is in nine will still be 10. We've defined sum to be zero. At some stage we had an, I think we should write everything here so that people understand what's going on, hopefully. All the statements that we need, right? This is fine. Question, are we following with what we're doing here? The first time we're we are going into a loop, right? And we're going to loop through these numbers here, right? We'll probably include, um, we'll also include an 11 here so that people understand. The first number, even number we're processing is zero. These things we have here are part of our instructions that are here, right? BGT, add, add I, and then branch and conditional, right? Nothing fancy here. So we first of all uh, take note of the number in eight, which is zero, the first even number, right? And then we check, is zero greater than 10? Because nine has 10. No, it's false, right? No. We come here. What is in 10 is zero. What we do, what this statement does is, because 10 has zero, it will add zero and what is in eight? What is in eight? Zero. So it would be zero plus zero, right? Zero. Which is the same as this, right? Um, it's some, the register 10 will still have zero in here. <clears throat> and then what do we do? We, we say we, we modify the initial value so that we go to the next natural number. We add one to what is in eight. At this point, what is in eight is zero. Zero plus one is one. Two, sorry, thank you.
0 plus 2 is 2, right? And then we branch unconditionally. When you branch unconditionally, we repeat what we just did here. We go through the same process. What is in A to now be 2? Is 2 greater than 10? No. Uh, the value in here is still going to be 10. And then we come here. What is in 10 is here, 0. So it would be 0 plus what is in 8. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do that, actually. We've done this with Edward, which is 2, right? At this point, sum is 2 as well. And then what we do is we add whatever is in 8, we add 2, right? Is it? We have a 4. At this point, the value in 8 is 4. Is 4 greater than 10? No. What? Um, what is in 9 is still going to be 10. What, what is in 10 is 2. So we are going to add 2 and what is in 8. So it's 2 plus 4. This is the same 6. Could have dropped the formulas, but it's fine. And then we come here. What is in 8 is 4. To 4, we add 2. What is 4 plus 2? We execute the next step. What is in 8 is? We come here. Is 6 greater than 10? No. 9, we still have 10. We come here. The sum is 6. So to 6, we must add what is in 8. What is in 8? 6. So it will be 6 plus 6, which is 12. This is the same. It's going to be 12. To what is in 8, we add 2. What is in 8 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. At this point, what is in 8 is 8. Is 8 greater than 10? No. What is in 9 is still going to be 10. What is in 10 is 12 at this point in time. To what is in 10, we add what is in 8. What is in 8 is? 12 plus 8 is? This is, sum is just going to be 20 still. At this point, what is in 8, we add 2. What is in 8 is 8. To 8, we add 2, we get 10. We come here. 8 has a value 10. Is 10 greater than 10? No. I don't know if that's a joke, but ha, 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 it was funny. What is in <laughs> register 9 is still going to be 10. Um, and then to what is in 10, we add what is in 8. At this point, what is in 8 is 10. And, and, and what, our sum is 20. What is 20 plus 10? 30. This value is still the same as the previous, it's 30. To what is in 8, we add 2. What is in 8 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. We go back to our loop. What is in 8 is 12. Is 12 greater than 10? Yes. yes. And then we exit. Once we exit, at some stage, we print the sum. The sum we are printing is what is in 10. What is in 10 is 30. Which is the correct answer, really. Is that walkthrough any better than the code? Now, if you're looking for the code itself, this is it, the 